Hi, thanks for stopping by the video. CMAT Die here, and today I'm going to go over the top five CNFT projects of the week. And then going forward, I'm going to talk about a couple mints that I'm looking at and go from there. But I like to start off with volume, and if you can see, volume has been terrible. Uh, volume has been sucked out of the market. You can see, you know, day over day, it is up today. It doesn't really mean much. Volume has been sucked out of the market. A lot of project floors have actually gone down. Some have gone up, but a lot have actually gone down. And you can see in the top five when I get to it. Uh, week over week, you can see that uh, the data takes a while to load. But once it does, you can see the volume is steadily going down. And, you know, it was around 700,000 the past couple weeks. And right now it is low, so we'll see what happens this week. Uh, if we look at month over month, you can see volume is also down and uh, just stagnant. But it is December, and it is the 6th of December that I'm recording this. So, of course, volume's down on the month of December. Uh, if we go over here, uh, you know, volume's just been terrible. Uh, if we look at overall which is the one that matters the most to me. Uh, you can see this little spike over here around uh, mid-October. That was that little bit of a bull run that we had in the CNFT market. And since then, volume has actually gone down. So you had a couple of whales come in. I don't know how many. Uh, definitely a handful or more came in, started buying up some projects. And then after they quit buying no there was no other buyers so it you know it's terrible for those who actually did participate in FOMO and bought the highs of some of these projects but it is normal in a bear market you're gonna have some people come in to try to scoop up some deals and that's gonna run the price a little bit and then you know it's gonna go back to where it was before that's what a bear market is that's what a bear market is for is to get good deals but you know, if you have quality projects, they're quality. So you can wait on those. So let's get into the top five. So as you can see, uh, largest floor price changes, Ape Society, no surprise there, Mallard Order and Space Buds, top three. If I scroll down here, the top project of the week is the Mallard Order. And they're doing some big things over there. Right now, floor price is 1700 ADA. Ape Society is number two at 9700 ADA floor price. Uh, KWIC is 184 floor price. Chilled Kongs is 1350. And Cardano Croc Club is getting some hype at the moment. They're at 195 floor. And we'll talk about that when I get to the Cardano Crocs Club. So let's start with the top five. And number one is the Mallard Order. If I jump in here, you can see that uh, OpenCNFT started a new thing. They show listings as well as what has minted. So there's 353 listings, which isn't much on a 6,500 supply. It's not very much. There's 1,432 holders, which the holders are a little bit low, but they do have a lot of wells in the project. So that's that's fine. All-time high sell of 25,000. That's big, and that happened pretty early on after Mint. So that's very interesting to see there. And if we scroll down and look at the floor, you can see that the floor uh, bounced, and it was stagnant for a little while, and then it bounced again. Stagnant for a little while, and now it's bouncing again. So that's, that's normal in a market, and that's what you would want to see if you're long something, which is totally good. And now what you want to see is, you know, 1600 taken out, which it has been uh, because the floor currently is at 1700. So you want to see it support over that 1600 ADA level and then push past 2000. That's what you would want to see if you're a holder. Now, if it does come down a little bit, you know, oh, anywhere from 1000 to 1300 wouldn't be a bad place to pick some up. And I may be tempted to pick some up in that area. 
and just a few just in case if it does come down a little bit more from there I would be ready but you know picking up a couple not a not a terrible idea so I'm gonna keep an eye on this project I uh, kind of slept on it when they minted you know I was talking to the team and I just wasn't a fan of what they told me but you know they're doing some th some big things and you can't deny that so keeping them on my radar I don't own any right now but keeping them an eye on them uh, next let's go to ape society so ape society is doing uh, also some big things over there all-time high sell of 180,000 ADA uh, shout out to chronic for that great uh, sell there uh, good job uh, he had conviction he bought a I think he paid 7,500 ADA which was more in USD value now than it was than it is now but very good I think he made 60,000 USD on the sell or something like that uh, anyway there's 107 listed here and 7,000 minted 2015 holders which is decent I like to see around like 20 to 30 percent or more and usually in a bear market it's going to be towards the lower end you know generally speaking but if you look at ape society it looks similar to what mallard order is looking like now so this would be mallard order uh, you know don't pay attention to the price but right now this is basically what mallard or order is doing it bounced it stagnated it bounced again stagnated and bounced and now and then ape society came down a little more and stagnated for a little while longer so is mallard order going to do the same thing is it not that's going to be very interesting that's why i'm keeping my eye on it so and then ape society eventually just you know went up crazy during that that little bull market that i highlighted earlier in the volume and now it is kind of stagnating trying to push up a little more i would you know if i was a betting man i would assume that we're going to get a little run here and then eventually it's going to pull back again and then that would provide a decent entry if you're not in ape society already uh the floor at 9700 is not bad usually about 7000 to 9000 is kind of where it's fluctuating right now as you can see so not really a bad entry especially if you're a long-term bull on the project uh, next is keyboard warriors internet cafe or kwic there is a lot listing a lot of listings right now uh, 1243 listings out of an 8888 uh, supply uh, holders 1793 all-time high sell of 5.9 thousand and a floor of 183 I I believe they minted somewhere around 90 to 100 but don't quote me on that I not in the project and I I haven't done any research in it I I kind of just slept on them uh, just the name of the logo kind of you know didn't really strike me there's so many opportunities in the CNFT space so you don't have to be in every single one but uh, you know just my personal thoughts uh, which a lot of times I don't get into a project and it goes crazy like Mallard order for example so you know I'm not in every single one uh, current floor is uh, 157 and you can see that it started right here and started selling around 120 140 and it's just you know kind of chopping around that and now you see the floors of 183 can it take out that 200 level that's going to be big for this project if it does take it out it would need to maintain a little bit above it to get some further traction uh, as you can see there are some some whales in this project so you know that's that's good but eventually they're they're some of them might need some liquidity and might need to sell so that's why that 200 level is kind of important if it fails then you can see price come back down and I'm not looking to enter this project um, I'm not saying anything bad about it nothing good about it I don't know anything about it I'm just going off of what this is telling me so uh, having a lot of whales is good in, in a project that's what you want you want a strong base 
and a strong community. So if this has that, that 5.9 thousand all time high sell is good, but a lot of projects, they come out and then someone buys like a one of one for like 5,000 ADA. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go up or not. No, 20,000 ADA, that's a different story. That means someone really does believe in that and they're probably a whale. Uh, 5,000 ADA means someone is taking a punt on the project. So um, I'm going to look into this. If I do like it, I'll put out a separate video on it. So now let's go to number four, which is Chilled Kongs. And Chilled Kongs is an interesting project. <clears throat> right now you have 531 listed out of an 8,888 supply. Uh, 2,956 holders, which is very good. 135,000 all-time high sell. We've talked about that before. And let's see. Uh, you definitely have a lot of whales in Chilled Kongs. I could have told you that without even looking at the numbers. And the project has been very choppy. You can see all of this down move here. This was all of the nonsense around like the art and the the you know couple founders of baby alien club with chilled kongs like you know it doesn't really matter um at the end of the day is your project a strong project chilled kongs is it has a lot of whales in it so i you know i don't know i'm not going to talk about it but then you had this little pop and another move down back down so that 1000 to 1300 area is kind of where people are trying to make a line in the sand they're trying to really buy this up um was there really a minimum floor I might have been talking about over here uh but yeah that 1000 to 1300 level is kind of where people are putting a line in the sand they're, they're saying okay well chilled kongs is minimum value here so that's kind of interesting and then really you need to see it take out uh 2300 and once it comes up takes out that 2300 maybe it actually has a little some legs under it so that's what i would look for for chilled kongs i think it's a strong project and that 1300 level is a good area last time i talked about them that's that's kind of the area I was talking about. I was looking at them coming a little bit under a thousand, I believe, but that's the that's the zone I was looking at as a buy point. Um, chilled Kongs. I don't think it goes back to five hundred. I would kind of be shocked if it did. So you know that's what I'm looking at, and uh, you know any buys are in that area. Uh, next, let's go to Cardano Crocs Club. Now Ca Cardano Crocs Club is doing something similar to the Ape Society. And as you, you could see with Ape Society, you had to own a cabin to be able to stake to earn society token. But after all the big guys get, you know, their cabins filled up and they're earning society, the buying pressure kind of goes away on the society token. And that's why price has really fallen. And Cardano Crocs Club is probably going to suffer that same outcome uh, what they're doing is they're minting land and with that land you can stake the crocs and you can stake some partner projects so they're they're doing that same thing and right now they do have some hype and i do believe that their price can go a little bit higher but i'm just saying they're probably going to suffer that same outcome and you know but let me go over this uh 277 listed out of 24,363 that's a lot of supply and not not much listed uh 4,505 holders that's very low very low uh, 9.5 thousand all-time high sell that's decent that's pretty good and 195 floor so i saw the floor pop up above uh, 200 that must have been right over here and now it's coming down a little bit and I would expect it to maybe come down a little bit more but not much and to you know continue on its upward trajectory that's what I'm expecting for Crocs so 
you know, once that happens, you want to pay attention to a couple things, you know, that 260 to 320 zone, what happens at that zone. And, you know, if it just goes straight through it, that's a strong sign. And you're probably looking more at like 500, maybe 600. If it does fail there, then you kind of have to look at it and, you know, see what actually can happen at that point. But right now there's a lot of uh, hype and uh, I don't want to say FOMO yet, but I think there there can be a lot a lot of FOMO in this, just because they're kind of doing a similar structure. A lot of people are getting excited about it, and you know people are just buying in at any price. So uh, at least that's what I'm starting to see. So if that occurs, it will be very interesting, and that is the Cardano Crocs Club. So anyway, with that, what have I done this week? Okay, so on my Discord, I posted this right here, everyone. Uh, this was on December the 2nd, which was four days ago from today. Um, I talked about this uh, Pokey Lifetime Pass. Uh, Mint is at 200. I told him I just minted some. Uh, there's at... 225 floor. I talked about how many are left. There was 250 left. They actually did close the mint. Uh, they minted uh, quite a bit. I think there was 146 left, and the developer just closed it. He said, "You know, we're going to close it at a certain point," and he did. And then it's going to open back up in uh, 2023. And then I posted this right here. Uh, Yesterday, uh, the mint was at 340, which was a 68% gain, 65% uh, on uh, this here. It actually, I think, it dropped five dollars from uh, this. But this is actually Pokey's own platform. Uh, but I wanted to highlight that a little bit, just because you know you could have minted for 200 or bought the floor at like 180 once it dropped. And then you could sell 340. And this is a long-term project for me, but I just wanted to highlight, you know, the Discord, we're already giving value. You know, you're already able to make money. We haven't even minted yet. And we're already providing value. I think that's strong and something to talk about and to uh, be excited about. I also minted Space Pugs Vox. I minted 30 of them. I have five in a different wallet. Uh, I got a Melting Moon Boy from a raffle, which was pretty cool. I also got a Space Pug, this guy right here from a raffle, which was uh, definitely a lot of fun. And now let's talk about some mints coming up that I'm looking forward to. Okay, so I'm on here at CNFT Tools Calendar. Uh, I like them as a calendar. They just do it, they, and they do a good job overall. Um, I did a video on Ada inmates, so I'm looking forward to their uh, mint on the 10th. That's going to be a lot of fun. And if I scroll down here, they don't have, okay, so they don't have everything in this calendar. Let me try a different one. Okay, the mint I was looking for is the Melting Moon Boy uh, Spacesuits Mint. Uh, it mints on the 8th, and th these are what the spacesuits will look like. I think they're pretty cool. So I'm looking to mint that as well. So those two projects are the ones I'm really looking forward to. Uh, the Melting Moon Boys I got into recently, I like the project. And right now it's at, at a good price to be able to pick some up. You know, I think they're undervalued. Uh, Space Pugs, I think, is undervalued. Moon Boys, I think, is undervalued. So that's really what I am looking at. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit a like. I would appreciate that. Uh, with that, have a great, great rest of your day. I'll see you around the crypto markets. Take care.